uh, it has not been a, an easy uh, journey. It is, is Richard Todong, the National Resistance Movement Party Secretary General, and he shares with us about how the third seven-year liberation journey has been. NRM started building Uganda from the foundation up to where we have reached now. Uh, the population of Uganda in 1986 was about uh, 14 million people. At the moment, the population of Uganda is about, uh, we are now talking about 45 million meaning close to 30 million people were produced under NRM government. That is one of the biggest achievements Uganda should see in NRM. He knows that this liberation isn't only felt in Uganda, but beyond borders. And we have been able to hold the peace and stability of the Great Lakes region, not only for Uganda, but for the whole region, that the NRM has been in leadership all this time. So we congratulate President Yuri Kagota Museveni, for his leadership and for all uh, the citizens of the country for supporting NRM and being firm with the party. NRM also boasts about the reinforcements of the structures of democracy. That within NRM itself, our structures are well elaborate, that we give people opportunity up to the village level to elect their leaders. We hold elections at village level in the party. There is no political party or organization in Uganda that is doing that apart from NRM. So we conduct elections at village level, at parish level, at sub-county level, at district level. So all layers of leadership and in administration, we have elected leaders. And because of that, we have close to 2.4 million leaders as a party. Now that is the strength of the party that we are talking about. But how about its critics? We don't discourage them to disagree with us. We encourage them to disagree and to critique what we do. And then we go forward. And then we have been doing that for a long time. Parliament is a multi-party parliament. There is the government side and the opposition side. The leader of opposition has the first call on our budget. He, he, keeps, uh, he keeps challenging what we do. He keeps challenging our policies. It's, it's, that is the nature of life. According to Richard Todong, some interventions have been brought on board to address some of the challenges. Yes, we have had challenges. Like uh, at the beginning of 1986, the whole of northern region was in a conflict that took us up to about uh, 2007, when the IDP camps were dismantled and people went back home. Uh, we got challenges of uh, cattle raiding in Karamoja. We got challenges of uh, Ebola, which brought us total lockdown in the country. And then we got challenges of pockets of, uh, uh, pockets of, of thuggery around and, and, and resistance. But to it all, we have been uh, moving so well, apart from those challenges. Uh, people talk of uh, lack of uh, employment for the young people, poverty, but these are things of the mind. When the mind is active and the mind is creative, you'll find something to do and you'll be active. On several occasions, many have backbited about this regime as one which did forget the hand which fed it. However, Todong carries another version. I have to be also congratulate the people in Buganda and the central region that everybody seems to be busy and uh, seeing opportunities with all this. They have uh, welcomed everybody from around the country. They are being very kind to people. People have settled in Buganda very well. You have seen how other Sub-regions, people are being chased away. But in Buganda, they have welcomed people. People have settled in Buganda. These people who have settled in Buganda have brought wealth to Buganda. They have bought land in Buganda. They are now, they are zero, I will call them zero grazing. They have no gardens here. They are buying supplies from the markets. And who are the people in the markets? The Bagandas. They are the ones producing. They are, the schools are in Buganda. The hospitals are in Buganda. So the... 70 to 80 percent of the income of everybody who earns from within remains in Buganda. That is how they have been able to tie capital within. So how do you see this around? And so it is a discussion that we can... Uh, now when it comes to infrastructure development, yes, there are quite a number of challenges with the roads in Buganda that should be worked on and the president has been talking about that. Being the sun hailing from the northern parts of the country, Todong is convinced that they too have had their share of the liberation. Definitely, apart from the war which disorganized it for a long time, and immediately after the war, the population resettled in homes. The region is picking up so well economically.
The third seven-year journey of NRA NRM can be either be bestowed by those who went to the bush, those who read about it, and probably those.